scary. But I think I'm gonna take a step back. This is nice. Helicopters always scare me. <gasps> Keep filming. I've been dreaming about owning and flying something like this really honestly since my childhood. Back in the day when I had those little plastic 3D army guys, which I still have shoved away in a drawer somewhere, and they came with these helicopters and you would fly them around and imagine, you know, picking up the army guys and stuff. I'm not kidding you guys, since I've been like four or five, I've been dreaming of owning a helicopter just like this. And now they've made one that is ready to fly with GPS that can be turned on and off. This has the ability, though, I don't necessarily to do 3d flying and abby isn't that cool since you're on the back end there look how close the main blade comes to the tail rotor <laughs> <laughs> abby kind of pointed that out that maybe it looks a little bit like a cheap plastic haul or something that's actually not the case this is made out of fiberglass which is really cool in today's video we're going to do a maiden flight of this helicopter walk the steps through you guys let you know does it actually fly well and if everything goes well then i hope that we have more reappearances of this on the channel because as i said this is basically a dream come true for the helicopter world for me because i don't think i'm ever going to be a skilled 3d helicopter pilot this is like the direction i kind of want to bring things in now is more in the like scale helicopter world um and this though i didn't build any of this uh, is getting me a step closer in that direction. I am so excited to, to maiden this helicopter, to own it, and to fly it. So let's go. This is kind of a unique startup process, so I thought it'd be cool to record it. Hopefully we get it right. So both of these power buttons on. Have to hold them. That's kind of unique to have two power buttons, but it's a good safety feature. All the switches are in the up position, and we're going to give power to the helicopter. Check this out. So flashing red, we go for... That's very cool. You probably shouldn't put your finger there. Just That's saying. Not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> so we have a solid purple light, and then we take our home switch and put it on GPS mode. We get flashing yellow, and it should go solid green. It only took about 10 seconds or less the last time we did this, which we did once off camera to make sure we had it right. Solid green is like three seconds off camera. And then what we have to do is both sticks down and out. This should flash green. So let's just look at that. Hold it for five seconds. It flashes green. Then we put this in the run position. And then we may have to go down and out one more time. But let's get back here behind the helicopter. Ready to go. Blinking. Hit run. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Whoo! But I think oh, I'm gonna take a step back. This is nice. Helicopters always scare me. Listen to that, listen to that. Hold on, scoot over. Sorry guys. Wow. Okay, we're nice and idle now. So I'm gonna throttle up and see if we got lift. Yes. Oh my Okay, and <gasps> that's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. Down, and I'm, down, down, down. Oh my down. gosh. Yep, that's fine. That's that's what we got, you guys. That's it. <laughs> I tried to film that. <laughs> it's smoking. Yeah, it's, it's going to probably catch on fire. <gasps> Keep filming. Oh my gosh. You got it locked? I. That is terrifying. You need to get the battery unplugged, but oh my gosh, God, please keep him safe. Get it unplugged and get back. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that just happened. Yeah, I know. Me too. Wow! I'm glad I had these. Just with, with high voltage batteries, you never know. Uh, you know, you could grab a hold of a battery that's been damaged and it could shock you or something, so the rubber grip. It's not why I had those. Yes, oh my. okay, and <gasps> that's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. Following down. And I'm... Down, 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 down. Oh my down. gosh. Yep, that's fine. That's... <gasps> Keep filming. Well, uh, That's sad. glad I backed up. 
That was terrifying. Let's check out the damage. It's unplugged, right? Yeah, it's unplugged. We're, we're safe. What was smoking the motor or what? ESC, battery. I don't know. Look at that bee. Oh my gosh, the bee is like, hello. Mm -hmm. You're my new home because you're trash now. No. Well, <laughs> we'll see. I cannot believe that just happened. I'm really surprised. So what I am really surprised by is how well it stayed in position, even though it was spinning out of control. Uh, I can tell you that everything was done properly. You guys read the instructions. Did the yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, we took off, and it's almost like uh, oh, I don't my know goodness. what happened. I'm 100% sure that these are on the right way. Well, I doubted myself just for a second, too, guys, because I thought maybe there's a chance that I had the blade on. I thought, surely the painted side has to be the top and then <laughs> and so i doubted myself but yeah. it even says in the you instructions got it. you read I, the instructions I did it properly so you got it. i'm really sad <laughs> i don't know what just happened everything was fine it was spinning up fine when it took off it's almost like this was in reverse or something and just so did you know you have to install that no and it's it on pro it, it came installed but just as confirmation that is a toothed mo it's a tooth prop that goes in the motor if you can see that so it's definitely on the right way. But I it came installed like that. Yes, it did. Okay. The only thing I had to actually install were these two blades. Yeah. And it says that I installed them properly. Uh, and I, I know I did. <laughs> I, that's done. So I don't, I'm no pro at helicopters, but I can tell you I've flown over a hundred for sure. And sure, I've crashed a couple. I've crashed a couple helicopters, but only because I was trying to do like a loop or something and it got out of control and you know, this I have so never been scared like that. Well, <laughs> I got scared. Man, that's crazy. I just want to like keep walking. I mean, I was that. I was ready to run. I mean, we were backing up. There's no way either because the second the second it was in the air, it everything was stable on the ground. Everything was spinning up. It didn't act like it wanted to rotate or anything. When it took off, it just started to spin. There's no getting out of that, and it was just purely, purely in the run normal gps normal mode i did everything by the book i was very impressed with this and i have no idea why that happened it could have been my fault but at this point in time and i own up when it's my mistake i own up to it but at this point in time i really think that was the helicopter yeah i mean visually it's not really that bad <laughs> the uh the main blade is tore up and it's really neat to see how it was constructed i mean that's a carbon fiber blade with foam inside yeah it. but the had a metal that's that's metal so i don't know it's just really well, i don't know it's that's like not metal that's plastic is no. it it's like a floral wire <laughs> hmm. it's neat though ah uh, well, i'm really bummed out but i think it's important to share this stuff because not i'm not I'm not bashing the helicopter. At this point in time, I feel like there's a chance that could have been my fault, but I don't think I did anything to make it do that. I've flown a lot of helicopters. The tail rotor was spinning. You know, hindsight, having the ability to rewatch that crash over and over and over uh, is always 2020. Slow motion, like all this stuff that I can maybe throw out there. It's always easy to sit back and, you know, take a look at the instructions and stuff. And maybe I did make a mistake, but again, I don't think I did. And you did make one mistake. I though. did, so. <laughs> I think you should address our reaction wasn't the best. So there's a stop switch here, and I could have thrown that switch up, which would have <laughs> slowed everything down and turned that rotor off much faster. Um, but I just thought, I need to land this. And my, it probably would have looked a lot better probably, if you would have just stopped yeah, the motor. My, my reaction was get it down. I Okay, do I have control? That's the first thing. What's hap It's like, what's happening? You know, it's like when you're driving a car, if you've ever watched those car safety videos, you're the driver and everything's going fine. And then the, the accident's happening in front of you and you need to slam on your brakes. Now, if you watch that back in slow motion, the person slamming on their brakes is like, it looks like there's a five second delay. Like, dude, you could have hit the brakes way sooner. It's just kind of like how our brains work. Or in the sometimes moment. you jerk the wheel over yeah. instead of, and, and or so like when you hit ice, it's like you're panic. supposed to coast, but you hit your brakes and it makes it worse. That's exactly right. And mm -hmm. so my, my reaction, my initial is like, whoa, so this isn't right. Okay. Let's, let's get, get let's out see. of the way. We backed up. So that was number two. Then it was like, okay, let, what's happening? Can I save this? I can't save that. It's getting worse. It's going faster. Cause I've had 
GPS drones do like a little toilet bowl and you never. know I can Cyclone. I can I can manage that we can save that I've never had a helicopter just pick up speed faster faster but it was like staying perfect in that position so it's like okay if I set it down I'm definitely going to destroy the helicopter at this point can I save it and we're getting safer and safer and farther back right but uh so my reaction was throttle down and just get it down because even if it destroys the helicopter it's going to be safer for us just to get it down. Um, but the best thing would have been to turn the motor off. Turn the motor. And if you were, if you, you know, like with me with a flying airplanes that have safe, that's uh, still crashing. Okay, still happens. But every now and then, my muscle memory knows I got safe right there. On all my planes, it's in the same switch position. So I know sometimes, at least 50% of the time, I can throw safe and it'll save me from a crash if my own skills and ability can't. So I don't know, new helicopter, just oohing and on and drooling. And I guess I just forgot that was there. So that's, that's definitely my fault. Yes. Oh my. Okay. And <gasps> that's out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. Throttling down. And I'm down, 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 down. Oh my down. gosh. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. I could have probably minimized that damage some by hitting that stop switch. But having said that, and all of this, I'm glad that I fly with AMA. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for those of us that fly. And they're not gonna save my helicopter that I crashed or, or the GPS failed or something failed and it, it crashed. But what they will do is if something went haywire and I'm flying the way I'm supposed to, and it flies over into you know a car or a building or something that's where ama is going to step in and i'm grateful for it and you know god forbid maybe we would get hurt or something so i'm glad we fly with ama so we fly small toys sometimes we fly this is one of the bigger helicopters i've ever flown i'm really disappointed in this whole situation but thank goodness i fly with ama that's really the lesson the lesson to be learned here is we can all crash technology can fail our brains and thumbs can fail and for when that happens, it's nice to have a safety net, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Linked in the description box below. I'll link this helicopter too, so you guys can find it. I mean, it's a cool helicopter. This could be a fluke, it could be a lemon, it could be my skills or lack thereof, I don't know. <sighs> but these things happen and I think it's good that we share them. I, I, I could easily just not post this or something and guys like to beat me up in the comments and tell me how wrong I was and stuff. It just happened on a little airplane. Let me do a quick follow-up too on this little pusher prop plane we did. I'll show you real quick the the, uh, the airplane. Can launches are always the best. <laughs> Whoa. I just lost everything. Oh, I thought you... Cut out. And I'm... I, that's really, really weird. I installed the prop backwards on that. So now this has me like second guessing and doubting my own skill and ability to... And we actually told the company hey, we can do a retract video. And they, Just the, send us another one and we'll we'll eat our words. And, and they were like, know. no, you know what? We think it's good that you show this too. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. Like they were good with it. But I will say in my defense, I have, and other people came to my defense as well. I've put props on backwards. This is for that airplane, not to do with this helicopter. I have put props on backwards on planes before, like the old Bixler. And I've flown it and it's underpowered even at full throttle, but it can fly. And the motor doesn't burn up. And it up. doesn't burn up. And I've also, I know that I was flying on 3S and I should have used a three-bladed prop, but I wasn't ever over 60% throttle. And so the reason for that three-bladed prop is to be better on the motor and ESC setup, but I wasn't ever high on the throttle in that video. So I do think that that motor and ESC should have been able to hold up to that better. Just, just, but it was still my fault. So I still take full ownership to that. Anyway, there you go. Crashed my favorite helicopter I've ever had my hands on. Uh, and that's a I sad think that day. was the scariest crash ever. Yeah, helicopters are kind of scary. I didn't have any control over that other than yeah. up and down. And Should if have I, just stopped. If I would have played with the right stick to try to move it around, it would have got worse. Yeah. So I'm glad it just came down. Should have just hit stop. I should have. Yeah. I didn't think about it either. No. I mean, we just get out of the way, get to safety, and and. <laughs> hindsight <laughs> hindsight it's always 2020 um i hope this video means something to you guys i really do uh, it's not your traditional rc channels content is it you know a lot most of guys people don't want to show their mistakes and embarrassing nope. things i mean yeah. it's pretty embarrassing that both of us did not think to hit that stop well, switch when it was happening yeah, uh, sure but i'm pretty embarrassed we're humans it. and you know we got life gets in the way of the hobby sometimes not that that's what happened today but you know we got little kids that are in the house with us and we're real people you guys we're just we're enjoying the hobby too 
And there's a, there's guys out there that buy their dream plane and they try to hand launch it and it goes in the ground. We're, we're Bob, Abby and I, members of this crashing airplane society. Sad. Sad on Facebook. Society <laughs> of aircraft demolishers or something so. like that. And it's I watched sad. a video this morning of a guy. <laughs> He, uh, he took off this big, beautiful airplane and he had his ailerons reversed. Oh, man. And so when he, he tried to bank it, it How rolled happened? inverted. And then what he did was he went the other way and he actually leveled it off. Yeah. I thought he saved it. Yeah. And then it just rolled into the ground. Oh. You know, we all make mistakes. So yeah, please tell me in the comments, was this on me or was it the helicopter? Because I really don't know. I just don't know. And there's no way I can get this back in the air as is. But it's a good company, it's Flywing. They do have spare parts and stuff, so maybe it'll get back mm, in the air. We've had good experiences with Flywing. Yes, we have. So yes. far. Yes. I can't believe that. That's why I'm feeling like it was my fault, but I just mm. don't know. I, I surely hope I didn't put that prop one upside down. I don't think I did. The picture but shows the gray and the Flywing correct. Yes, I know. There's I think... no Flywing picture on this side. No, I know. I think I'm... I'll show you guys one more time. You can see. Correct install. And you yep. can see, where's the picture? It's gray. This is the incorrect. It's black. So, I don't know. I was so excited about that. I but know. I was excited when I saw oh, it. Thank you, God, for today. It's not my favorite RC experience, but I'm live and I get to enjoy the day. And, and for that, I'm grateful. And I just, <laughs> I, I hope you guys appreciate this video. I really do. I want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too because you guys keep us motivated. You let us know that there are people out there that are like us that don't have perfect flights every single time that might make knucklehead mistakes or maybe it was the helicopter itself and you keep us encouraged. So for those of you that financially support us with Patreon, it does motivate us, especially through moments like this. I'll be beat up about this for a little while. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching and supporting what we do and going through the process with us. Now, if you wanna see a cool helicopter that doesn't do what that just did, that we've all probably watched over and over and over in slow motion many times now, we'll have a better flying helicopter video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.